Hi guys and welcome back. We are starting a new series today where we'll be taking a look at C++ for video game development. And this is the first part so obviously this will be more of an introductory thing. So first of all we'll just have some background about C++ and I'll just discuss about who this playlist is for so that you have a good idea of whether you should watch this or not. And for any support questions or suggestions and stuff like that uh, my discord link is given over here as well as down in the video description also guys if you want to support me in any way you guys could go ahead and donate to my patron link to that is in the description as well so who is this series for so people who have never touched code and you want to make video games and obviously it requires c++ so this series is going to be beneficial for us and it'll, it'll be geared mostly towards unreal engine so we'll be taking a look at aspects which are specific to unreal engine as well but first we'll be gen uh, covering everything general c++ related so which will apply everywhere but then later on we'll be going through unreal engine specific c++ so people with slight programming experience but who are unfamiliar with c++ will also benefit from this series and if you are familiar with C++ but don't know what aspects of it you will need to focus on for game development for you guys as well this series will be beneficial now just a bit of background it was developed by Barney Staustrup I'm mean, not really sure how to pronounce his name but anyways this was around the 1970s or 80s it was really old and it's a super set of C so any C code you write will for the most part be valid C++ code as well and it's a statically typed language what I mean by statically typed language is any variables that you have basically you will know the data type of that variable at compile time now those of you un unfamiliar and are confused basically when you create variables you will know what type it is so for example let's say you have a score variable you know that a score is a number so for simplicity let's assume our score is an integer in a language like C++ you will know that it is an integer but in languages like Python you would just go ahead and create a variable and it could just take any type so it's a statically typed language and C++ is extremely performant since it's a compiled language and it does not have any extra overhead it directly compiles to machine code and another advantage which kind of comes from uh, being a superset of C is access to low level operating system libraries. So for example, a very simple example would be windows.h for windows. So you have direct access to calling any sort of function which you would ne need and stuff like that. The extra thing in C++ other than the C language is standard template library and that it is object oriented. So we'll be discussing a lot more in detail about this. But for now just know that uh, classes and objects are supported in C++. Although you need not actually follow this model you could completely write a C++ program without using classes and objects. But it is an object oriented programming language. Now why is C++ used for game development? First things first, it's extremely performant as we discussed previously and it models the real world very well as does most object oriented programming languages. So for example, uh, on, the com uh, on the computer in which you are sitting at right now, so you have your keyboard and your mouse. So your keyboard will represent an object similarly let's say you have a keyboard inside your game or something that would represent an object as well so stuff like that anything you place is going to be analogous to what you have in the program as well it's it's kind of up to you how you grasp the concept but basically objects give you kind kind of an idea of which entity you're working on so that helps it's a little more advanced than structs, you have a few extra features and we will talk about structs and classes and stuff as well. 
and another reason c++ is used for game dev is memory management honestly it's the 21st century and you aren't really going to be handling all your allocations and deallocations the way you would in traditional c or something uh smart pointers and stuff like that make it very simple and if you're using a game engine and stuff they have ga- garbage collectors which are going to handle it for you so that's nothing to worry so let's say you switch between levels in your game the garbage collector will automatically free up your memory and stuff so memory leaks isn't really a thing just make sure you don't do anything stupid because if you do get stuck in a memory leak in c++ it's going to be a lot harder to deal with it than in c I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. By now I feel like you would have gotten an idea of who this course is for and stuff. And we shall be continuing with the basics of the language from the next video. And soon within a few parts we will head into stuff which is a little more advanced and then we'll be heading into C++ specifically for Unreal Engine. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.